How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Land of the Dead. This is Deep Strike Gaming, bringing you seven days to die. We are on the big day four. Still got a little ways to go before anything gets very interesting, or even a little interesting. It's still the whole scavenge and survive and kill stuff and get your shit and don't get your shit. And how the hell am I 16, 15, 14, 13? 12, 11, how the fuck is the mother shit? Ah, oh, fuck it. Alright, moving on. No. No, you can't have any. I feel like playing Ring Around the Rosie right now. Does somebody want to play with me? Ring Around the Rosie. Come on, you got this. You got it, come on. Come on, there you go. Bring around the rosy. You're really stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, 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 you tricky, tricky. You went around the other way. Come on, you got this. I have faith in you, I swear to God, I have faith in you. Keep, co keep coming, you got this. Keep. Wow, this is a fucking long process. Yeah, thank you. No stamina, just chilling out. Hit him in the head. No, bad, bad. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I sped up the gameplay there just to speed it up just a wee bit to make things a little more interesting. What am I doing to that body? Oh, oh, I was interrupted. I was having fun. Oh, oh, you're doing the splits too. Yeah, just speed up the game a little bit. I figured, why the hell not? I've trying to get to the past day, well, to day seven, and then after day seven, I can start doing a little bit more in-depth explanations and stuff like that. Basically, the first seven days for this game is pretty much scavenge, survive, explore. You know, it's only after day seven, once you survived your first horde night, that you really start to understand the grasp of the game itself. So I'll be getting to a lot more in-depth after day seven. So for right now, it's basic scavenging, what to get, how to get it, where to get it, you know, stuff and stuff like that. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna go. Oh, can't see me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm hunted, but I don't care because I'm gonna get you. Stop! Damn it! I will get you. So okay. Ah! I hate wasting arrows. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, so this is it. This is uh, this is how I roll. I'm uh, chasing a deer because how the mm, cop you son of a bitch. There, stuck that one right up your ass. I'm coming for you. I ain't got time to deal with you. I ain't got time for that. Come on. Oh man, I hate when they run so much. You chase them, and then you get lost, and uh. anyway, so so uh, so far I've got a bunch of videos ready, to, almost ready to go, and after these ones are all uh, voiceovered and edited, and you know, prepped and ready to go, I'm gonna try attempting to cut down on a on a way. Remember, I'm new at this, so I'm gonna cut down on the uh, the the over talking. I'm gonna try to do the live commentary as I'm playing. I'm watching a lot of other people do it, and it doesn't seem overly difficult, considering, I guess, you know, from what I've been told by a lot of people who are on YouTube and whatnot, that the hardest part is continuously talking about nothing. Horde, run. You know, that that's, they say that's one of the most difficult parts, is, you know, you, your video is 20 minutes, and you pretty much have to talk for 20 minutes straight, because if you stop talking, it, it, it kind of, it, something happens like this, you know? So boring. Piggy? Oh, damn it. Do I, do I bother? Do I bother? Ah. Where'd you go, dear? dear? Oh, yeah. What, why, 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 why would I do that? Why, why, why? No, stop it. Stop it. I'm not sure why I would do that. Yeah, whatever. 
So yeah, hopefully everybody's doing good. Everybody's having a good time enjoying my gameplay, I guess you can call it. I will be throwing on other games eventually. I do play other games, that's for sure. I'm a gamer, not uh, tied down to one brand of game. The only kind of game I don't play is pretty much fighting games. Oh, son of a... Yeah, so fighting games is pretty much the only thing I don't play. But other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty uh, well-versed gamer. I'm not saying I'm the best gamer. I'm not saying I'm the worst gamer. I'm a, I'm a decent gamer. I do what needs to get done. Bone shiv. Bone shiving it up. So yeah, pretty much after this point in time, it's, it's going to become a bigger channel. Uh, I now have a Facebook pay. Well, a Facebook page I guess you can call it uh, I'm on Twitter I'm on uh, Instagram why not you know everybody else is doing it might as well try to follow in people's footsteps they seem to have done well in that in that sense so I'm well I figured well why not might as well do what needs to get done uh, I have been taking some little uh, lessons in editing which is great I have my new PC on its way so my rendering times will go from, you know, three hours to, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Which is, you know, that's agreeable. Uh, when I get my, uh, when I get the, when I get the computer, because it's, it's a built, I picked out all the pieces and chose my CPU, choose pretty much everything with uh, a help of one of my friends. Well, actually two of my friends. They're both uh, very well versed in the computer building process. Uh, yeah, so once that comes in, that'll definitely be speeding up the process because it's just so much, so frustrating. You know, you you work, you know, we'll say 45 minutes on editing because even that's quite a bit. But 40, we'll say 45 minutes on editing on a 20 minute video. Then you gotta go watch a movie and wait for it to render before you can do anything else because my computer's not even fast enough that I can use my Elgato and play at the same time or else it just slows everything down so yeah no so I'll be running the Elgato on this one hooked up directly to my PS and the other one will be a transfer rate of my uh, for the uh, editing and rendering and whatnot so I can at least still record while I'm doing it even though from what I was told by my friend, that I'll be able to do it on the same PC now because it should have no problem. Oh my god, an SMG. Sweet. Oh my god. So yeah, so... Uh, yeah, doggy, doggy, doggy. Yeah, doggy, doggy, doggy. Even if you see dogs in the wild, don't be afraid of killing them because in the beginning of the game, they give you one of the most important things, and that's hide. You need the hide to make the forge. Well, technically you need the hide to make the bellows, the bellows to make the forge. You, 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 uh, we'll get there. So yeah, if you see random dogs, don't be afraid. Kill them unless they're in a group. If they're in a group run, that sucks. Because usually, uh, it's been random for me, but most players will say that the day before Horde Night, or the, the two days before Horde Night, you'll have a pack of dogs that will randomly appear. And yeah, it's it's happened. I've, I've had it on during the afternoon on day 7, which is interesting but yeah so yeah, piggy, 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 Arnold piggy over here, take all the bullets, that was a horrible impression, but yeah, no, uh, in the beginning, oh, kill everything, kill all the animals you can get your, you, you can find, you know, take their bones, take the, take everything, just, don't bother wasting it. Why am I hitting the ground? Move on. Yeah, so... Clickbait. Eventually, I'll be able to be a little bit more well-versed in... Ugh, brass. Trust me, people. Later in the game, brass is a pain in the butt to find. Especially if you're using a lot during Horde Night, like I usually do. Because I try to... I, at most points, I try to stay away from the setting up like shit tons of spikes and just you know letting them kill themselves 
on day seven and day fourteen. I don't even if I if I, I don't usually even have a base by day seven and fourteen. I'll set up spikes in strips of three. This way I can still search between them. Anyway, I'll set up strips of three and a gap of two between. You'll see what I'm talking about, and then I'll run between the gap for the first horde night because the first horde night's usually a joke depending on what your difficulty level is. If you're on a high difficulty, no, don't do that. You're gonna die, guaranteed. And beer is your friend. Well, beer is everybody's friend. So we are still out and about scavenging. So that's it. We're going to go back to town. We're going to go back to our, our, our HQ. Toilet. Always check toilets. Take the poop. Take the poop. Collect the poop. This way, if you ever have friends join your game, you throw the poop at them. And yes, you can throw the poop at them. It's great. A lot of people don't know. You can throw a lot of things in this game. They're useless, but you can still throw them. Man, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of brass... Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I, I don't usually have seen this much. Jesus, another one. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I don't have time right now. Oh, it's close to home. That's okay. We'll go back eventually and get those. Yes, working stiff tools. My opinion, best store in the game. Guns are fine. You get guns in crates. You don't get auger parts in crates. You get a chainsaw. I, I think I remember correctly. I found a chainsaw once, but I've never gotten any auger pieces in the crates, like in the care packages. Car, 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 car. No battery. Oh, what am I talking about? You don't get batteries from the shelves. Yeah, so due to the fact that I do now have enough to build. What the? I am so drunk right now. See that big, big gray spot right there? That's where you want to go because that signifies where there's clay. And if you notice on that map that you just saw, there's lots of spots of clay that are all all over the place. And it's usually a gray splotch, and usually they're not as big as the one I'm in right now, but they're still fairly big. And always try to avoid digging around your base. And I, I'm not talking about like five blocks away. I'm talking about like 50, 60 blocks away. Because depending on where the horde comes from, they'll get caught in that and they'll start digging and digging and digging. And man, that could just cause so much problems. Especially if you have a trench built somewhere and they happen to dig through the side of the wall and then you're screwed. Because if I've, I've tested this, zombies can actually knock complete houses down by digging underneath them. It took, well, it took a long time, but it was still, it still happened. They managed to dig out enough from underneath the building that the building collapsed, which was hilarious because well, it killed pretty much all of them but yeah so keep that in mind see even right here i'm not happy with digging this close to my base but it's only a base that i'm going to be here for another couple of days you know i'm not here for ever that's for sure come on i got a stairway going to my freaking front room all right so bellows Type it in. B E L Bellows. Yeah. Eight wood, twenty, and one. Very important. That that is uh yes, beautiful. I should have more somewhere, don't I? I swear I had more. So, 50, 50, 1, and 1. So, I have plenty of that. I have plenty of that, and I have plenty of... Hey, where'd my... Where'd it go? Yeah, give me back my... What the sh... 
What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm blind. I apologize. Don't be hating. All right. So that should almost be up to par. Booyah. Forge on the way. Day four forge. It's actually a little later than I usually like it, but it, yeah. Uh, a big thing that you have to pay attention to is there's a thing called a heat map. A heat map, basically what it does is it, if you have a big enough heat map, you'll get a screamer. It's a zombie that looks like a chick from the ring. And what she does is she'll come up and if she sees you or senses you, she screams and she brings in a whole shit ton of other zombies. So you gotta kill her before you start aiming at any of the other zombies. Kill the screamer. Always kill the screamer. But the heat map depends on what you have running, how long you've had it running, and don't think that you can just shut it off and the heat map goes away. It actually takes a little bit of time for the heat map to dissipate. So keep that in mind if you think, well, it's Horde Night and I'm just going to shut it off at five minutes before Horde Night. Because no, the heat map's still there, so you might end up having Horde Night and Screamers. That's It's not fun. Well, it is fun, but it's not fun. You know, especially for a new player or somebody who's just screwing around. Like, I've purposely built forges, stuck them in the middle of the field on Horde Night, and just went to town on one of my old builds, knowing that I wasn't going to be playing on that map anymore. I used all my brass, all my bullets, and, yeah, it was like, what, 200 and something, 300 and something zombies. It was a very, very long night, because I kept the Screamers alive the entire night. Let's just make this door a little bit wider. So, yeah, be careful of the heat map. And a lot of people will state that it's best to build where you put your um, where you put your forges, your campfires, your cement mixers is put the, putting them underground because well not not necessarily underground, but where your bases go down and go away from your base, so they'll spawn, but they'll spawn in the open above where the heat source is, so they won't just constantly destroy your base or attack your base. And never underestimate the, the the importance of mining. Mining is so important in this game. Because, yeah, you can scavenge. But by breaking down stuff, you're slowing down. But we'll get into that more once you see the mine. Alright, well, this is almost the episode. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you next time.